We're really excited at the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute. We just finished up a large project with our partners at the University of Georgia's River Basin Center, and we looked at the distribution of all aquatic animals in the southeast, so fishes and mussels and crayfishes, over a thousand different species. It's really hard to conserve a species if you don't actually know where that species lives. And so one thing that we did is took the distributions for all of these animals and put them all together in one single layer and looked to see, okay, where are the hot spots for all of these different animals. So we studied some different things. We looked at species diversity, simply how many species live in a given area. We looked at endemism, which is a measure of how unique those species are. Are they found a lot of places or are they highly endemic, which means they're very localized. And then finally we looked at the uh, imperilment of these animals. We looked to see are they highly endangered or are they threatened or vulnerable or are they stable. And so we layered all of these different attributes together for all of these different species and came up with a single map that really highlights the areas where we need to spend a lot of time protecting our aquatic animals because they're so vitally important. When you look at this map, it looks like a pretty simple explanation. And that's great, that's exactly what we want. But understanding what's behind this, we had over a thousand different species of fishes, mussels, and crayfishes. We had 11 states in this area. We had almost 300 watersheds that we looked at. And that's roughly 600,000 data points for each individual species occurrence. So a lot of data, a lot of time and expertise went into this in order to give us this map, this look at where we need to spend our time protecting the amazing rivers and streams of the southeastern U.S. You know, the amazing thing about the southeast is we have all of these animals living right here in our backyard. But because they're beneath the surface of the water, we don't often get chances to see them unless you're visiting the aquarium. But what's really great about this project is that we can raise all that information to the surface. We can look at where our animals are found and really have a national conversation about, hey, we have an underwater rainforest here in the southeast. We have so much to protect. And now we have the guidance on where to spend our time protecting it.